Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to rip your DVDs onto your iPod. So what I have with me is I Am Legend uh, starring Will Smith. And just to let you guys know, it is encrypted, so encrypted, decrypted or whatever, it, it works. But it's a long process, to tell you the truth. So let me move to my screen. So I opened up my Safari browser and searched up DVD shrink. Uh, I'll provide a link to the side which has the link to where to download it so once you open that click softpedia secure download in brackets us and it is downloading to my desktop so I'll clear my X my downloads and it's right here it's in, it's in a, a zip folder, so you basically run this file to install it. So I'll delete that. And so yeah, once you got that all installed, stupid pop-ups. So once you got it all installed, make sure you have a convert. Uh, right now I have 3GP converter. It's a pretty good converter. Um, that's what I use, and I'll pro also provide a link to the side description box under type. You click download, uh, saving as a zip file, unzip it, and I'll show you what it's what you basically do at the end. So now, uh, once you got that uh, installed, open up your DVD shrink. Okay, got that in, and now. You basically grab your DVD and then put it into a drive. Okay, so that's in my drive right now. Uh, then click open disk and then yeah, you get the Dropbox and then click the one that says whatever your DVD is. I'm Legend in Disk E, and then click OK. And it is opening. Okay, now it's done analyzing. First thing you need to do is click Edit, and then Preferences, and click the tab that says uh, Output Files, and make sure Split V VOB files into one gig size chunks recommended is unchecked and make sure the first three is unchecked because if you click unchecked and it's going to basically make your files into all um it's going to make it into like five files because one DVD is like five gigs so click ok and go to reauthor and first get the one that says title one or whatever make sure it has the longest duration which is basically the movie and then drag it to this white spot right here uh, go to compression settings click the drop box and click custom ratio and then you bring it all the way down to compress it because it's it's going to be mainly played on the ipod and right here it says audio, so choose one that you, that you like to hear. Like, there's Spanish, French, and English. I'm English. I'm gonna uncheck French and Spanish because I don't speak Spanish. And there's sub pictures, which is subtitles. So I don't need, I don't want any. So I'm gonna uncheck all of it. And you should be all good. And then click back up and make sure it's on hard disk folder and choose where you want to save it so I'm gonna make a new folder and name it I am legend and then highlight that and then click OK so it's gonna save in the folder I am legend and uh, make sure this is unchecked because don't, you don't really need the audio TS folder so Make sure create video underscore ts and audio underscore ts subfolders is unchecked. And then click OK. And now it's basically...
in uh, encoding, which which might take like uh, an hour or so. So I'm just gonna stop the screen recorder and let you know when it's done. Uh, you open up, uh, it should, iTunes should op automatically open up, and there's this, um, movie, which is basically the I Am Legend in MPEG format for the iPod. It's titled VT VTS underscore zero one underscore one. Just delete that, because you're going to want to rename it. So what you should do is open up you open up the where you save the converted one and so as you can see I have Ong Bak it's this Thailand movie Stomp the Yard and Transformers which are already in my iPod and what you do is if you want you could rename it so I am legend and then you drag it, drag it into iTunes. It's not. It's gonna. It's supposed to be VT something. Yeah, it's VTS underscore zero one still. But then you right click, click get info, and click info, and rename it to I am Legend or whatever movie you're doing. Then click OK. Takes a while to write the tags. So it's finished. And then you drag it onto your iPod. 
or if you're on sync just click sync and then it's loading and then I will show you guys that it is on my iPod so I successfully disconnected my iPod off my computer and these are all my movies and let me put on I am legend TV off and it's connected to my speakers temporarily let me go This results linked to this entry saved on see. And it's all good, so any questions message me or comment or whatever.